Then again, when it comes to the youth, now they are the most energetic crowd here. They have a voice and they, they have the energy to do all of these things. What do you think the youth can do in order to promote this and how can they be involved as well? Yeah, they are one of the biggest problems in um, agriculture in Sri Lanka and a lot of places is that people, uh, young people are moving out of agriculture for various reasons. Uh, but then, uh, in these kinds of crisis situations, now you saw in the last three months, uh, some people called it a, a youth revolt, right? A youth revolution. I wouldn't use the word revolution. That has different connotations, a very positive connotation. Uh, revolt has, is less. It, uh, it's like generally anti-systemic, but typically anti uh, uh, against a particular party or a person. But we saw the energy, the idealism, the ability to work with other people, the sense of solidarity, the creativity, innovation, determination, courage. We saw all that uh, uh, over the last three months. They, for better or worse, they were uh, able to uh, effect a change of government. They, they, they ousted the president, they ousted the prime minister, they had the three different uh, cabinets. Whether that's good or bad is a different matter. But they played a role. The youth played a role. It's not just the youth. Now, obviously, what that indicates to me is the kind of potential that we have. Right? Now, the strength and energy that came together over the last three months for a, what I would think is a very limited political project because uh, as I tell people in Russia the, uh, in the Russian revolution it was land, peace and bread. It was not hashtag uh, kill the Tsar. In the French revolution it was liberty, uh, liberty uh, equality and fraternity. It was not kill King Louis, uh, right? Uh, but that also happened but they got the revolution. Here it was just limited, uh, focusing on an individual, not the system remains. But the potential the spirit and the enthusiasm and even patriotism, not among all the all kinds of people in this Saragali and I, I have my issues with them, but by and large the youth showed that they can stand up for something, they can deliver, they can come together. Now what is the most revolutionary thing to do in this moment in Sri Lanka? The, the most revolutionary thing to, go, uh, to do is to recognize that we are in a crisis which we cannot resolve immediately and which has generated a, a possible serious food shortage, food crisis. Now here you have the energy. You have people, as it has been said, young people from all over the country came together for this. That's the claim. If young people from all over the country could come together to effect a kind of a change in government regime, change, however you want to name it, then young people can come together, think, figure out things, uh, learn from each other, and make sure that no one in their communities, no one in the, that particular district or your province or whatever way starves. How do you do that? You grow food. You grow food. We are not asking every young person to grow two acres of rice. Every young person can, can grow something, two, three plants or whatever, but together in a village, they can convince another generation. They managed to get the old people out, didn't they? And they were saying, you know, you know we, uh, the old people were saying, we are going to listen to our, young, uh, our children. And the young people said, our parents are listening to us, you know. So, okay with all the evidence that we've had over the last three months. It is unthinkable for me that the youth of this country cannot find a way of sorting, of contributing positively, effectively, in a way that changes the equation in relation to food availability. And they can exercise all the knowledge, know-how that these XYZ generations have about uh, obtaining the relevant information not just to grow any old thing, but to be intelligent, to be smart about it. What are we growing? What are the nutritional attributes of this, that, and the other? How do we uh, grow things that can complement each other and you know, contribute to sorting out the... I think there's immense potential. 
right. I don't know how it's, how it's going to happen, who's going to take the leadership, but I'm sure they'll find ways. I mean, this revolt, um, it was as disorganized as anything else, but uh, even in that uh, chaotic thing, they managed to get just that amount of coherence that was necessary to obtain a political uh, uh, outcome that they, some of them were happy with.